Samsung 46 equals 13. Is that really a song? What the fuck is this? Ah, this guy. I know this guy. I've seen this guy. The rapper. I love high gas prices. I love paying more for groceries, and I really love seeing taxes rise. It's so good knowing that I'm giving more but receiving less. It makes me feel humble, but I'm gonna stop with the sarcasm right there, cause I swear we're living in a real jungle. It's what? Pretty simple to me, though. It's way past being left or right. Just use your head and common sense and think about how you've been affected in daily life. You hear that, little Miles? And Motown? Way past being left or right Just use your head and common sense And think about how you've been affected in daily life Is it easier or is it harder? That's the most important question you should think of first Right? Good That That's a good observation, you know Everybody, when the team man was in office Everybody was so on to his ass All the time, every hour of the day, right? But how bad did they have it during the team man? And how bad do they have it during the B man is he he's even called the B man like a B movie you know the B man yeah just look at how hard you have it now compare it to how hard you had it during T man because that's really the only thing that matters the common sense to think about how you've been affected in daily life is it easier or is it harder that's the most important question you should think of first because life is a bitch already as it is and you don't need someone that's gonna make it worse ask me <laughs> fuck don't give me that look everything sucks have you gone outside have you been to the store have you compared the prices to a year before do you drive a car and and listen it's not just the prices all right that fucker the b man you, you you saw what he tried to do just a couple of months ago. It's like if if you ain't did well, you will lose your job. You can't do this. You can't do that. That's on top of the prices and everything. You know they call the tea man a dictator. Who is the dictator here? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Outside, have you been to the store? Have you compared the prices to a year before? Do you drive a car? Have you pumped gas? Don't lie to me now, it sucks ass. You could brush it off like it's a fucking joke, but the media lies, numbers don't. Well, you can't blame Biden, it isn't him. Well, who the fuck is it? <laughs> what jacked up the prices? I want to know why I spend so much up at Conoco. I don't know. I think it's insane that the leader of the country gets no blame because the whole entire time, the last four years, it was cheap as fuck. I'm just saying, now watch. Down in the comment section, someone's gonna give us an economy lesson. I can't wait to hear your expert analysis on fluctuation and how expenses balance. Hey, it's all a part of the process. What the hell are you bitching for? It's fine. Oh yeah, I forgot about the 16 cents that I saved on hot dogs for 4th of July. What is <laughs> I remember that. It's funny, I don't even live in the U.S., but I follow that shit. You know, I pretty much follow the U.S. more than a lot of U.S. citizens. How, I, how do I know that? Well, I just watched, you know, there is this guy called Mark Dice, and he goes into, I think he's in, he's in California, right? He goes and interviews people uh, in the streets of California, and they know jack shit about anything about the US. Anyways, I remember the bee man talking about, well, 50, 60 cents off a hot dog. That should be nice, right? Thank me later. It's like, what? It's fine. Oh yeah, I forgot about the 16 cents that I saved on hot dogs for 4th of July. What a fucking steal. Too bad I spent more on gas just to get the target. So by the time I got done <laughs> buying all the shit and filling up my car, I had way less than when I started. Now, I don't really call that saving. No, no I call that losing money. It doesn't take a genius to do simple math, but apparently you can't, so who's the dummy? Probably still me. I'm just pissed off. 
this inflation's fucked up But I gotta sit here and act like I love this administration with a thumbs up? Stupid Everything is hell but you act like I'm supposed to be in heaven You know our country ain't doing too good when the Waffle Houses start to close at 11 Dude, he can barely talk and don't act like I'm being overzealous Every time the man speaks I have no fucking clue what he's trying to tell us nope. well, well, look, look, uh, uh, never mind That's the bee man in a nutshell uh, folks, uh, uh, look. Uh, never mind. That's him. Being overzealous. Every time the man speaks, I have no fucking clue what he's trying to tell us. Nope. Every speech is like a gag reel. Every time I see the shit, I'm like, is that real? Well, considering the fact that the only and you know what? Had it been any other position in a in a in a workplace or whatever, that person that was talking like that B man is talking. You know you would get fired. You just know it. They would be like, you know what? This ain't gonna work. They would t take that person into the room. It ain't gonna work. But I'm trying. I know you're trying, but um, it just ain't gonna work. So we'll have to ask you to uh, resign, leave the job. You're fired. In any other position. But in the most important position in the world, it's, it's fine. Ridiculous. Nope. Every speech is like a gag reel. Every time I see the shit, I'm like, is that real? Well, considering the fact that the only other option was Trump, I don't think it's such a bad deal. <laughs> Fuck that. I want a strong leader. The strength of a man should be constantly tested, especially when you're in the most powerful position in the world. That should be not even a question. Damn right. There's really not enough words that can describe the craziness we're facing, dude. But the crazier part is there's still people you need to sit down and really explain this to. Come on. <laughs> Just watch a press conference. You'll see that Joe was all gone. He literally says out loud that he has a list of people he supposed to call on and even yeah. then he fucks that up the whole thing is hella awkward COVID-19 ain't his biggest enemy it is? it's the goddamn teleprompter it feels like we don't even have a leader nope. it's like we're all just following blindly each of my grandparents could run circles around him in a debate and they're almost 90 look at him don't take it from me go listen to him it's not a rumor you gotta I mean the T -t 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 Today, Junior! Jesus Christ, go on YouTube and click any video of Joe Biden and check out... And you know, and you know, do you know why the dislike button disappeared? I say it was mainly because of the B-Man. Because the B-Man's videos was getting downvoted up the ass. We're talking way downvoted. Uh, and I think his first inauguration video got like 130,000 dislikes to like 15,000 likes. That's why they took away the dislike button. That's why. Not because they care about the well-being of the YouTuber. We can still see that shit in the YouTube studio. Bullshit. Today, Junior! Jesus Christ, go on YouTube and click any video of Joe Biden and check out the like and the dislike ratios. That should prove to you that no one likes him. <laughs> I don't agree with anything he's done. His decisions affect me in many ways. If it was up to me, I'd rather have mean tweets and cheap gas any day. Yeah, what are you, babies? Hey, it's two minutes left. I don't like Biden. What are you, babies? I don't like mean tweets. Well, look at yourselves. How many times are you mean tweeting? Telling people to go and um, die and shit. T-Man never said anything close to that shit. I'd rather have mean tweets and cheap gas any day. Hypocrites. I don't like Biden. What good's he done for us? I think Afghanistan pretty much sums it up. What a dumb adult. My stomach does somersaults when I think about those 13 soldiers that were killed the fucking gall. Then he goes to the service and keeps checking his watch like he has somewhere better to be. I swear the disrespect ah. doesn't stop. I remember that when they were, you know, getting this de dead soldiers back or something. It was like, how long? How long do we have to stand here and pretend that we care about these dead people, dead soldiers? Goes to the service and keeps checking his watch like he has somewhere better to be. I swear the disrespect doesn't stop. Pick your fucking head up. Look at the women and men you killed. I don't understand how anyone could even defend you still. And if they do, they either don't know what they're talking about or they're lying to themselves because they know damn well you're a problem now. Pulling out was a good choice. Not the way you did it though. Kamala's probably sitting there like, oh my god, we did it, Joe. Speaking of her, yeah, she's been that. through all these deadly <laughs> days. As soon as shitty erupts and hits the fan, Kamala's MIA. Not like she does anything. anything Anyway, so fucking useless law and order crisis at the, the same camel Harry that has uh, you know in the debates before the president you know the thing you know the thing 
The same camel Harry that went off on the bee man said you're a rapist and a racist and now they're all good man. They're all good. Oh Joe, we did it! We did it, Joe! Sounds like two criminals who accomplished a coup. MIA, not like she does anything anyway. So fucking useless. Law and order, crisis at the border. She don't fucking do shit. Just a talking head, paired up with the walking dead. Breaking absolutely every word that was promised or said. Every time I see their faces on TV, it's such a bummer. I feel like I'm watching the third and <laughs> Right? How depressing was the B man? All he talks about is this fucking mouth diaper and how people should get this all the time. That was all he was talking about all the time and how dark it is and how uh, how fucked up everything is all the time what a depressing said every time i see their faces on tv it's such a bummer i feel like i'm watching the third installment of dumb and dumber and on top <laughs> of all that they put another ban on ammo trying to disarm americans but equip the taliban like rambo you give them hundreds of thousands of military guns but americans just trying to protect their families are the scary ones you put more trust in a terrorist organization than you do in your own people you don't care about this nation fuck you that's from me <laughs> fuck you that's from them fuck you from everyone that's still stuck in afghanistan fuck Fuck you from the men and women who died for this country and fuck you for every time you lie to cover up something you blame this on trump how the fuck is this even his fault you're in charge now not him that's just your default whenever something goes wrong you flip and say he did it but whenever yeah uh, and you, have you noticed how they barely mentioned the team man's name unless it's something they want to blame him on you know like uh, they want to make sure that you know who they're talking about then they mention his name but other than that it, they they say the previous administration they don't want to mention his name unless it's you know they want to blame him not him that's just your default whenever something goes wrong you flip and say he did it but whenever something goes right you're quick to take the credit you undid almost all of trump's agreements by your second day so why is this one of yeah, the only crazy. fucking things you left in place no crosses to bear no responsibilities just chocolate chocolate chip to ease your mental instability i would say the blood's on your hands but that's a lie because you don't even know where the fuck you are half the time That was awesome, man. That was awesome. Very good job. Very good job by that guy. Another great rapper. You see? They're coming. All over the place, man. All over the place. You know, it's like a wildfire. It's spreading like wildfire. And that's how it goes, you know? It starts with one person daring then two then four then eight then twelve then thirty two ding dong ding ding dong 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 wow wow when people see that other people dare to speak the truth and guess what they start to they start to do it as well and that's how we s flick the switch Bloop. oh all of a sudden we see a fucking huge mass of people saying fuck you We've had enough. That's why it's so important to call shit out. You know, even if you don't think uh, it will matter, it will. Somebody will see it and that somebody will get uh, inspired by that. You don't even know, you know, and then that's somebody and you don't even know who that somebody can be. Maybe it's somebody that has a lot of influence that gets something from you saying something. You know what I mean? Just because you don't see the result of something doesn't mean it's not uh, doing some change. You know what I mean? But if everybody shuts the fuck up, then it might not happen. You know what I mean? Very good. I give it two, two thumbs up. What was his name, by the way? Samson. Samson. Good, Samson. Good. Salty armor sits out around.